Hey, it's Albert, and today we're going to be making an image slider like this. This slider animation is going to be made with Swiper JS API. Stay tuned and watch till the end to see how this was made. Let's jump in. Okay, so to start, we'll create three div tags, one called wrapper, another called wrapper inner, and one last one called slide. And also, make sure that your slider has this similar layout. I'll explain later. In the slide div, add your image and give it the class image. Okay, so now, let's style every element with padding 0, margin 0, font family poppins, and box sizing border box. For the wrapper, set the width to 100% and the height to 100 reach. For the wrapper inner div, set the width and height to 100%. Also the slide div, set the width and height to 100%. Now the image, set the width to 100% and height to 100% and the object fit to cover. This will prevent the image from being stretched. Now, in the slide div, create another div with the class BG info. Inside this div, add some cover text and CTA for the slide. After that, let's set the position of this div to absolute. Let's also quickly set the position of the slide div to relative to make sure that all the positioning of the BG info is relative to it. Back to the BG info, set top and left to zero and give it the background. Let's maximize the width and height. Set the display to flex and flex direction to column. Also, we're going to center the text on the horizontal and vertical axis. Lastly, set the color to white. For the P tag, set the font size to 15 pixels and the font weight to 400. Set the letter spacing to 5 pixels and margin bottom to 10 pixels. For the H1 tag, align the text to the center. Set the font size to 45 pixels and font weight to 600. Also, give some margin on the bottom. For the button, give some padding and border radius. Change the color and set the border to none. Set the background to white. The font size to 17 pixels and font weight to 400. Lastly, let's set the cursor to pointer. Now, add the hover pseudo class and change the background and the text color of the button. To make the hover effect smooth, set the transition to 0.3 seconds. Now that the designing is done, let's work on the slider functionality. Head over to swiperjs.com and click Get Started. Now scroll down to Use Swiper from CDN. Go ahead and copy the link tag and place it in the header tag of your HTML document. Back in Swiper.js, copy the script tag and place it at the bottom of your body tag. Now scroll down to Add Swiper HTML Layout. Okay. So your slider would have to have the similar layout to function properly. It shouldn't necessarily be the same, but similar to this. Okay, so firstly, copy the swiper class and add it to the wrapper div. Secondly, copy the swiper wrapper class and add it to the wrapper inner div. Lastly, copy the swiper slide div and add it to the slide div. This might differ for each person depending on the type of layout you used. Now scroll down to initialize swiper and copy the code there. Create a JS script and paste the code in it. Let's link the script to the HTML document.
Now, duplicate the slide and change the images and cover text. Back in Swiper.js, go to the Add HTML Layout section. Now, for this slider, we need the pagination buttons and navigation arrows. So we'll copy only these three elements and paste them below in the wrapper div. Now, when we preview the website, we see that we have a somewhat functioning slider, but it's moving in the wrong direction. Let's fix this. In the Swiper script, delete the direction parameter. Also, remove that of the scroll bar, since we don't need it for this slider. Now, the slider is moving in the right direction. Back in the script, set the clickable parameter for the pagination to true. For the pagination bullets, set the height and width to 10 pixels. Set the background to white and the opacity to buzz 25 seconds. When the button is selected, set the width to 20 pixels, opacity to 1 and border radius to 7 pixels. Finally, I'll set the color of the navigation arrows to white. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something useful today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. It really helps a lot. Thanks for your attention. I'll see you next time.